the ball. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. Yeah, my dad, walk on. What's going on, babe? We're Not trying to get to it. Yes, sir. So we got some very special guests in the house right now, man. Say, man, we got Black Card, Steve-O, and DJ Chose. What's going on, man? What up, what up? Man, it's good to have y'all, man. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know if I was going to make this happen. I said, man, is they coming? I don't know, man. I know how, you know, I know how artists, <laughs> they be busy, man. I had I, I done had a couple of them. It'd be like, man, the show for to be here, and it just be so close, man. Yeah. But just glad to have y'all on the show, man. Appreciate yeah. it. So, man, I'm looking at man, you, man. I I, I looked at uh, DJ Chose, man. I say, man, because I told you I didn't even. I had my son back there was like, man, you ain't heard. He's like, we about the same age. I'm like, yeah, man. And then I started looking, man. You got a song. You did that thick song, mm -hmm. and I was like, man, you know, like that's a that's a dope song. Appreciate you. So what what inspired that? Um. The thick record, just quarantine, been in the house, missing the parties. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I during college, man, I used to do music like that very well, very well. So it was like so easy to just you. You went to Perryview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We 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 the we the ambassadors of the turn up. So. <laughs> man, I heard y'all be partying at like y'all a uh, twelve o'clock in the midday party. It yeah, messed yeah, my yeah. head up. I said, how y'all getting into schoolwork done? Bone was on here, Duro was on here. Yeah. I'm like, what the, What kind of schooling is y'all got going on at these HBCUs? Man, good schooling, man. We learning, you know Yeah, he had his masters, Bone did. Yeah, we learning and we getting to the money, man. I got a degree. I ain't never touched it, but I use it every day. Wow. What degree did you get? A business management. Business management. Yeah, so... Business management, is, hey man, that's still dope because what you're doing is managing business right now. Right, I like your business. Say, man, you got to get to it. For sure. Ain't no other way. Mm -hmm. Say, so Black you would Card, think Steve that Rowe. That would help though, right now in the career that you're in because in everything that you do, you're not just an artist anymore, you're a businessman. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I always sure. tell people today, you have to be an all round person. Yeah, and yeah, there's a I'm lot sure. of young dudes that's coming on this show that didn't get that education, and I can tell by talking to them they're still trying to figure it out. Yeah, and, and but when I look at your move and I see how you doing business, how you basically you produce music and you pretty much you 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 rap. So right. that, hey, that's a hey, that's a win win. You ain't got to cut, mm -hmm. split, and divide and all that other good stuff, right? Yeah, I try to tell people all the time though, like a degree ain't always so heavy about um. The schooling, the trick is you got certain people that never went to school that was just born with sense. You feel mm -hmm. me? I'm one of them. Steve-O, one of them. Yeah, yeah. And then you got some people who never had sense, so they need school. School is a great place to learn how to socially interact. Like when I went, I already knew how to talk, but it just helped me enhance my communication skills. You know, it's not everybody can walk up to – 10,000 people and say, here go my CD or here go my brand or look at these shirts, man. You might like like everybody. You know, it's a lot of people with businesses who scared to tell somebody. I kill them every it's day. It's that confidence. You know what I'm Not everybody's <laughs> yeah, born with that that confidence. Not everybody can be a salesman. For sure. And that's really what you do. You have to sell yourself every day in any career that you're in, but people don't for realize sure. that. Yeah, mm -hmm, for sure, man. Let me ask you something, man. Black Card Steve O, what's up, man? What's going on, man? Say, man. Hey, man. You got a history, man. I, I, got mean, a, I got a little history yeah, on Yeah, man. I seen you did some internship and all kind of stuff. I was listening yeah. and looking. I said, man, that cat really had to go through some things. I love the ones who really get in there, get out there and do it, and pretty much it, would almost do it for free. Yeah, you know what I'm shit. saying? I, I, I did it for free. I ain't yeah. know almost. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I, when you get out there and do something for free, that means you really love what you're doing. For yeah, sure. Yeah, right? For sure. For sure. And, yeah. and with me, I, I use... Uh, I'll do whatever I have to do to get in the door. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I'll get in the door and then show my value after. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's one of my, my strategies. You know what I mean? Even like uh, we spoke about Mr. Lee. You say Mr. Lee. Yeah, spoke, he was just on there. Spoke well. Spoke highly of him. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm from the north side of Houston. Mr. Lee stayed in Sienna Plantations. Okay. All right. So that's a... The drive is That's about it. an hour and 10 minutes. You know oh, what I'm I saying? Oh, I done seen that Houston so traffic and everything. My relationship with Mr. Lee was definitely in the studio, but I was also his driver at a wow. point. Mm. So I would wake up every morning and drive an hour to his house so I could drive him around for his errands, and then we get in the studio. 
Wow, that's that's you know that's crazy, man. And you was doing it just because you wanted to be in the mix. For sure. For I sure. Mean, for I, sure. I, I, that's why a lot of people need to take note of that and take that initiative to even if it's a ground level job, mm -hmm. you know your sights are are on the higher level. You know what I mean? But you got to start somewhere. Don't say, well, nah, I'm overqualified for that. I'm overqualified for that. This is what I need. Yeah. You have to get in where you fit in until you can move up and show your worth like what you said. Right. Right. And, and, and speaking of that, that's how like one thing turns into another, like a domino effect. So me working with Mr. Lee doing his driving and stuff like that, he was working on a Boss Hog Outlaw CD yeah, at the yeah. time. Mm. And Slim Thug brother, Ray Face, was at the studio at Mr. Lee house one day and Ray face, uh, he looked at me he's like, man, ain't you from the North side? I said, yeah. And he's like, man, Slim needs somebody to come record him tomorrow. Can you go to Slim house and record him real quick? And it's just like relationships just kind of keep building and yeah. doors opening because mm -hmm. of one step. You know man. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Man, I tell you, when when AING asshole and goes on here, he said, "Man, if it wasn't for Steve O, I, I wouldn't even be in this." He yeah. really, he he, another one that shouted you out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We got but, a we got a crazy story. Like I I pulled up on him. So my partner from Dallas, Shamar. I don't know if you know Shamar. I don't know Shamar. You need to get Shamar on here. I, so I probably, uh, I, I'll have to look him up. Yeah. So Shamar called me and was like, "Man, it's a dude in Houston. I want to sign him." Wow. You know what I'm saying? And I say, "Cool." I said, "I'm gonna get the paperwork ready. I'm gonna head over there right now." And I went over there, went to his house, asshole, lights was off. He said, man, my lights just got Ooh. cut off. He signed the paperwork in the in dark. The dark. Wow. Man, like, that boy, that's dope too, though, man. <laughs> Say, real. man, you 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 in the mix and out the way for real? Yes, sir. That's the lifestyle. That's, 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 <laughs> hey, man. Without, without, without that in God, I might not be here. Boy, what you talking about, mm -hmm. man? Me, I can tell story after story, mm -hmm. but I'm going to let y'all interview today. You yeah, know what I'm talking about? The funny thing, what all that reminds me of is, the saying, a closed mouth doesn't get fed. Yeah. That's yeah. really what it all reminds me of because if you don't speak up and, you know, let somebody know exactly what you want in this life, you'll get left behind. You're sure. right. How did you, uh, DJ Chose, come up with that uh, with that uh, feature with Young, is it Puda? The the one with uh, Tipping. It's, it's a Tipping remix. Uh, man, they sent me the record. I just. You they, killed it. Yeah. You uh, shot at your people out and everything. I heard it. Yeah, that, <laughs> that what I do. When yeah, I, when, I like that. When when everybody handled the business correctly, I'm gonna deliver a good verse, and I'm a, you know, I'm gonna do my part. You know, yeah. years ago it was like people saying like, you know, the older guys didn't really, you know, you know, rock with the younger guys. So mm -hmm. when I see stuff mm -hmm. like, you know, Slim or, you know, any of those guys, Zero, or any of them, or, or, or you, you, you younger but you just you produce and i know you evidently with with aing he he actually looked younger but a little older you know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but just the bridge and the gaps man that's something that i look at texas because i that's why i love pimp c because I, I felt like you know he represented the whole thing you know what i'm saying for right. some reason when it would look like he you know things was they were shooting shots whether it be from any other coast or whatever, and things have changed a lot since then, yeah. it seemed like he was stepping up for us all. So when I see y'all, you guys pretty much led the way. Y'all had the whole, y'all really still should have it the way y'all come through. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Houston killed it back in it. During that time, that era, that that tipping song came out and all that stuff was happening, oh, man. Yeah, that's, that stuff that's was crazy, five, man. But, but, but we, we, got, we got most stuff going on. Yeah. We, got, yeah. no, we, got, we got more uh, current stuff going on, too. Oh, y'all even, 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 even with Chose. Eight time platinum, according to what they, I'm reading it right. I'm trying, because I was in here, you know, nice. tripping off of Mr. Lee. Now we 10 times. Is it 10 now? I'm diamond. Diamond. Diamond, diamond boys. Man, I, I, I not, and I knew, you know, like I said, I seen you with the song with Gucci. I was like, this dude, they're working. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This ain't not, this is this, that now. You know what I'm saying? This that here and now. So how is it, you know, as far as being from, you from Houston, mm -hmm. looking back at what was and what is now, how, how do you feel like the music is doing? Uh, Well, first and foremost, we had to force it. Like, okay. I, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and act like, Back in the day, acquiring a feature was the easiest thing yeah. to do. Like, I mean, it was people I reach out to, try to pay. They wouldn't even take the money just because wow. of the music we was making. We wasn't making. I didn't came down, yeah. pop my trunk. Yeah, down. typical Texas. Yeah, the music was different. The music I was making the same music I'm making now, ten years ago. But back then, they would look at it like it was just some party music, which mm -hmm. it was. It was, it was jumping. But I mean, at the end of the day, I just seen where the world was headed. and It was ahead I, of its time. Right, and I also made the music they make, but you gotta understand, like, I'm not them. 
and they not me. So they can't make my music. I can't make that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I love the pocket I'm in. I try to stay in my lane. But back then, I had to force my way into being seen and respected. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I salute all of them, though, because when they saw it, they reached out. But, I mean, nothing was given. I had to earn everything I had. I remember sh- I was I was at the clubs chasing every rapper down. Man, can you listen? Can you listen? You know what I'm saying? And then finally... I think everywhere I go was my turning point. I had a record called Everywhere I Go. Okay, that was yeah, real yeah. Big in Houston, and that record made them. It was most street. That was the record that made them say, "You know what? Okay, I, I, I see you gonna, you gonna keep going until mm-hmm. we see you." And that's what it was. And now that's where I'm at. Like now, I, I hear my name a lot with the legends, and I just be like, "Damn, I would have never that's thought I see this day." You know? What yeah, I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Have like, you always had um, your style? Uh, did you style? change it up? Like, like, because sometimes when people start out, they start by mimicking somebody as the person that they look up to till they're, they're like, okay, I need to find me. That's I need facts. to find who I am in this music industry right. and make myself unique to stand apart from everybody else. So I'm trying to figure out from the time that you first decided that you wanted to do this till now, how old were you or how far in between of you starting that did that I, happen? I started rapping when I was like 15, but my problem is I never had a style. Like anybody that really know me know I can, I'm a comedian, I can do whatever. Like mm. I can go in a studio <laughs> and deliver anything. It just depends on what I feel like is gonna make me some bread, you mm-hmm, feel me? So, mm-hmm. and then you got days where it depends on what I feel like saying. Like one day I might just be doing the song cause I want to. And then when you get a record like Thick, I'm up in there doing it because I want to, but I also know, hey, this is a smash. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like if if the world knew, like even some of the songs that I produced and wrote, them songs sound nothing like thick. Mm. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That just go to show you. Well, I think the other, the one you just featured on with that with the Puda, mm-hmm. that sound different as well. Like yeah, you're yeah. saying, it's just a different type song. That verse, but I mean, if, if, if we get to talking about just... The records, yeah, it, I, you'll I, flip I, out. Yeah, I've I produced for like Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, like, yeah, and them records, they don't sound like my records. They sound like Megan records. So yeah, yeah, it's shit like that that I think I've always been put in the box, but it's like it don't exist for me. No, I get it, man. Yeah. When you gift it, man. Oh, sorry. Go yeah, ahead. no. When you gift it, God, man, He make everything happen, and can't for nobody sure. really do what you do, and that's what's so unique about yeah. us, people right. like you guys. You know, right. Um, Steve O, he's not he's not you, and you not him, and you know that's the way it be. And 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 other other producers, you know what I'm saying? That's what make it, you know, really make the game like mm-hmm. it is to where where people enjoy it so much. You For know sure. what I'm saying? Like you come, you you and B King, and 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 more, you know that era right there. You know, even him, he's scaling right now. So yeah. it's just it's really it's it's a young man's game to me. I ain't gonna lie to you. I get yeah. out the way. It's you about- know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just I just made a post on Instagram. It's about consistency. You yeah, know what I'm that's, saying? that's it. So even when you look at Houston in the city, when you look at who's being the most consistent, it's him and B King, the most consistent yeah. over the years. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and that's and that's facts. You know what I'm saying. So you know oh, that's dope, man. Because y'all, you know what I mean. You did y'all come up around? I know uh, Sergeant J was on here. He be dealing with B King a lot too mm-hmm. uh, with 1501. Mm-hmm. But I was just saying y'all came up around the same era and worked together a lot. Yeah, I actually broke B King first song called Crush. Uh, he was, man, I was at PV, so wow. I yeah, always got people music yeah. first. You feel me? So, yeah, but I mean, B King, everybody like, especially with him, he, we just ain't give up. We we done been told no a million times. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. Even Steve O, no man, mm-hmm. it's, this is. I mean, everybody that every hustler then heard no a million times, what and that's talking? like, whoo, man, but it makes you stronger. It makes you yeah. keep pushing. Man, yeah. you got you got to take them nose with a grain of salt. Man, they make mm-hmm. you they make you ready, man. To for be honest sure. with you, I get when somebody don't show or something don't happen for us, she know how I am. Like we got to do better. You know what I'm talking about? Right. I, I'm a hustler, so yeah. I don't know how to I don't know how to fall back. You know, right. I don't right. know how to do that, man. See, oh, and my dude. thing is that there's a reason for everything. You just have to look at that what is in front of you and figure out. Okay, what is the reason for this? Yeah, yeah, Thanks. yeah. So, so let me ask you this: How how is it? You know, you met you learned you learned the algorithm of how to make hits in the midst of this whole uh, I call it oversaturated market. Mm-hmm. It ain't mm-hmm. like it used to be. You right. know, everybody making a song in a room, in a closet, in a studio, mm-hmm. everywhere you look, mm-hmm. there's music being pushed out, and, and and it gets pretty much to a point where every time you do it, 
I mean, the consumer will be like crackhead. They wanted a, another one real right, quick, right. real yeah. quick. They want, they want another hit. <laughs> right. They want another hit. Yeah. That's and so something true. very similar to the one that you did because they love that style that you did. But most artists, what I'm realizing, they like to switch it up. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And yeah. then for, I know you can't satisfy everybody, but for that fan who just love what you just did and then you switch it and, you know, a different yeah. style, they're like, man... What happened to that one? Yeah, yeah. You know what I but, mean? But, you know, sometimes you got to do things to get a, uh, to expand your fan base. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And not to stay on the same the same ones because you want to get bigger. You know what I'm saying? Right. When I started looking and researching you, I was I was basically like, he's like DJ Khaled. He's doing projects and everything. I'm like, this dude, you know what I mean? For that's sure. dope, man. For, for you sure. know? That, that's, the, that's definitely uh, was the goal. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, I tell everybody that, you know, DJ Khaled, he does what he does. And I never understood what he did till yeah. I got into the studio yeah. with him. Once I got in the studio with him, it changed my outlook on him. Mm, you know what I'm dope, saying? Man. But I tell people all the time, before there was DJ Khaled, it was Kirk Franklin. Exactly. Okay. Oh, you see okay. What I'm yeah, saying? yeah, 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 yeah. So, he, he was doing the same, the same same type feel. The same thing. And I didn't think of that either because yeah, yeah. it's another, you know, different type mm. of music, but it's the same thing. Right, it's right, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So how did how did that how did you and uh Gucci end up collabing on the on your song? Uh man, um I was coming off a of thick. I think Gucci had heard of me, you know, so we just did business, you know. Okay. He ended up being solid, cool, one of the easiest people to work with, so it was, a, it was a vibe. Did you already have that song, You a Dime? You already had it? Yeah, I already wrote. had okay. it. Okay. A lot of my music, like, a year old, is just coming out. Okay. Like, I'm, but the, the the beauty in my music is, you was talking about the pandemic. Oh, no, no, you was yeah. talking about the oversaturation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I was asking about. So, the, the trick to this is, when I listen to music, I always listen to what's going on. Okay. And then I either try to go left, if whether it's totally left, or either I try to just put some feeling into what's already there that's substanceless. I hear a lot of music that got great beats. Yeah. The 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 the, the artist big. So it work. Okay. But for the indie, most of the indies try to go do the same thing that somebody huge is doing that works for them and they're not understanding like he big, so he ain't really gotta say much. But when you come in with these records that actually got some substance, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's how you really get in the game. So every artist that I broke as a producer early in from NBA Youngboy to mm-hmm. Fredo Bang to everybody, it's just trying to make sure when I'm in the studio and we working, I'm just trying to make sure, hey, I know the person that's ahead of you right now is making this type of sound. It's okay. They they, they ain't really saying much. Let me give you something to say. Let me, or not give you something to say. Let me help you in them ranges of let's try to come together and make the song that everybody in the world gonna be like, I can relate to this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah. know, I like when I'm in the studio, I ask people questions about their life. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get to know you like a real, hey, we on our first conversation. I wanna know what is it that's bothering you right now? Because every, and I, I, I think really, I think that's the only way to be a true true producer. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's, it's to ask questions so you can know the direction, you can know how they feeling at the mm-hmm. time, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And that's like, uh, like he's saying he does that. I do that also like when I was working on my project, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Before, before I played any music for anybody or told anybody what kind of song I wanted to do, I talk to them about the subject without them knowing mm-hmm. that I'm about to have them. Mr. Lee said the same about exact thing. You know what I'm saying? Not only Mr. Same, Lee, Mr. Somebody Lee said else that. said that too. But, All the producers you know, do that same I, I thing. I come up under Lee. Under, so, oh yeah, because that's the saying? same yeah. thing. Yeah. He was he was he was alluding to the same thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like and 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 I would KLC, say KLC I think says that too. KLC he said was on he, here, he said that too. He goes into the room and he vibes off of your emotion, how you feel, and then that's how he makes magic with whoever is in there. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's got a different way of doing things, but it all boils down to that backstory. Even in what we're doing here, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we 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 know we press for time, but usually most of the time we're dealing with the people. We have to get into the backstory, right. or else I'm not going to even be able to jive with it. You know right. what I mean? It got to be something there, that, and really that's what we're tugging at right now. Right. When you start thinking about, it, we just we just talking. You know what for I'm saying? Sure. But we're trying to say, okay, the mastermind concept becomes a thing once you start getting around the round table. You right. know that. Right. You know what right. I mean? So that's dope. Just like I'd like to know, how did you get your name, DJ Chose? I felt like I was chose to do this. I remember, like, <laughs> my mom used to, before she passed away, she used to, like, when I was real young, she would be, she wanted me to do gospel. Like, she would be like, man, I'll let rap. You need to do gospel. 
And I told my mama to her face, I was like, mama, I feel like God chose me to like talk to the world. Like it ain't gonna be nobody in a couple years that's gonna be saying positive things. So right now, this is my building block on getting the world to love me. But in a minute, when the time right, I'm gonna be making feel good records that actually still cool. Like mm -hmm. it's hard. Like you right now you either got this or you got that. But you ain't got nobody in the middle. I remember when Kanye used to make records that was yeah. through the wire to me as a child was like, oh shit, like yeah, well, no matter how much the gangsters was this and the good people was and this, he landed. He landed. Kanye was good and at all that. He was like, all falls it. down. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Saying? Everybody yeah. felt yeah. it. Everybody yeah. got it. And that's the thing I can't understand because coming into any industry that you're going in right now, especially entertainment, podcast, whatever, is like in order for you to get a massive crowd or a massive following, is like people feel like you have to always start off negatively. Right, right. You, because neg negativity sells. Right, right. It's like if you come in, you want to, you have a good heart, you want to help people, you want to say everything positive, it's like nobody wants to look at that. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. see, that was my thing. I told my mom, I was like, even with like, when you you know when you read the Bible, you feel mm -hmm. me. You'll understand. There's a lot of people that were sacrifices. Mm -hmm. So I told my mom, I was like, I feel like God got me as a sacrifice. My mom know how to rap. I'm learning how to make beats. I, I I'm gonna play the game, and then when it's time, I'm gonna tell them the truth. Like that's what that's what the world missing. Everybody mm -hmm. talking about some stuff that ain't it ain't really daily life, but it's becoming that because no, that's all we listening man. to. No, man, I'm here for a reason, yeah. man. Yeah. I meet people where that, they at. That's that, what this whole show that's about. Just, that's mm -hmm. just like. <laughs> That's just like building your platform up for what you truly got to say. That's like you could almost think of it as like we was just talking about Kanye. Look what Kanye did and then he went gospel. He built the platform, mm -hmm. got the listeners. I got a girl now, doing that right now, now. Now listen to what I got to say. Dope. Now. That's Now. And that's you know what, what a saying? lot of people say that they have to. But I'm like, why do you have to do it that way? Mm. Well, because you got to understand in this industry right now, it's like they pushing. The biggest artists are the ones that are promoting demonic things and shit. That's why you that why when people ask me about me it's like, can I make that music? Yeah. Do I make it? No, I just give it away. You feel me? I'm gonna give it away. But I make sure even the stuff I give away got some gems in it. It ain't okay. gonna be demonic. It's gonna be the beat that sound like, oh, you supposed to be like this, but it's gonna hit you in the soul. Like everything that I down there produce this year had some substance and it had some feeling that it, it got a I like to call it a payoff, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like most music right now, it don't got no payoff. You just, yeah. it's like, uh, me, me and Steve-O like to call it, it's like Dairy Queen, but we like soul food. So mm -hmm. when we in the studio, no matter how much music we making, we trying to we trying to lay some soul food. You yeah. Feel yeah, 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 no, so, I get it. How, where do you think music will be in the next 10, 15 years? And the reason why I'm asking that question, because yes, you always had people talking about bad stuff. And you right. always had some people talking about good stuff. But then you have things that I've never seen happen before. Maybe it's just, I'm just not watching certain genre of music. Mm -hmm. But what's that guy that come out with that new video with all the demonic, you That's know, stuff? Little, in little, 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 yeah. Stuff like that I've never seen before, you know? And to me, it's becoming a thing where, is that gonna be a trend going forward that other people are going to start doing I don't stuff I don't think like that's going to be a, a a trend going forward at all because even the most gangsterist people ain't getting down ain't with getting that. Down with you that, know yeah. what I'm saying? And we did have that with a little bit of that in rock and roll. It was I seen that that in the Metallica Yeah, movie but, too. but 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 when the most gangster people ain't getting down with nah, it it's it's going it, it, But certain things have work. been more and more accepted on even on TV, watching TV, and you see certain things on TV now that you never used to see back how many years mm -hmm. ago. Well, it, it's getting, so I'm like, is it gonna go over into the music industry? Nah, it's, I think it's full circle. I feel like the real hour is gonna prevail. So right. as you watching this, just remember, like I like to stay neutral, cause not really neutral, but I like to stay where I was at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I started like this. You gotta start how you finish. You gotta <laughs> start how you finish. So <laughs> when you watching all of this, remember, that I told y'all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's full circle. Yeah. Because what happens is when rap get too overbearing, pop music comes back. Right. Or yeah. R and B comes back. Yeah. So when these times hit, you're so right. We gonna we gonna look <laughs> back and we gonna remember all these rappers that was it's boom dope. boom shoot them up bang them up, and yeah. then we are gonna remember these rappers who was whatever because I can't really say that they right. demonic, and then we are gonna remember Drake. 
Yeah. yeah. And when Drake dropped, <laughs> a lot of shit always changed. That's Drake it. That's it. Balances it, the album. The culture. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you, how how did you guys two how did y'all meet? Together. How did we meet? We made a lot of money together. Early. That's the boys getting that money in yeah, H Town. Y'all yeah, niggas yeah. better wake up. Yeah. <laughs> niggas gotta work. Lot. God put you together. You come up, man. It's, yeah. it's special, man. Yeah. I done had partners I come up with. Nah, for sure. For sure. Me working with shows is uh, something that I, I never thought I would do. Like, as okay. far as just like, because I, I got a studio in Houston. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So. When people come and they always talk about producers and stuff, and I knew of Chose, but I didn't know them like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I always tell it like, nah, as far as a formula to how to make a song, I'm like, they be like, who do I need to go? You need to go get with Chose. Yeah, Chose. You, know, you, need, you, need, you need to go get the formula. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, that's what I always say. So, me being here with him in the position that we're in now, it's like one of them things where you look at it and be like, damn, how the hell did that happen? And it just happened organically. You know what yeah, I'm saying? We, yeah. we definitely have mutual people in common and stuff, but, it, you know, it just it just kind of happened. Look, on the outside looking in, you think, oh, they from Houston. They know each other. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you. That's mm -hmm. how we, we be. I, you can I come see down the chemistry. There. You can, you see can the tell y'all get to it. I, mm -hmm. I love to, I brag about Atlanta a lot, but I also like Houston as well because mm -hmm. they have a way of, of, of of you know spinning things into y'all gonna look at us you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. and it, it took some hard work it took right. some grinding you know Dallas it kind of be spread out sporadic you know what I mean and like I said you guys started off so early and, and just building and now I feel good about you know even I love music bro mm -hmm. that's why I be I can get into anybody's music you know For I sure. go down a rabbit hole I look at yours I'll be like oh yeah okay I'm gonna listen to it and hear it and see what sound you coming with so yeah. you, you I mean so how you you engineer yeah, yeah, I'm a. And you uh, produce. He do a lot, but do I you do, you make beats too? No, I don't make beats. I but didn't I, think so. But I produce. Yeah. I, yeah, that's the. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I, I heard you say that. Yeah. Explain that. So that's just the you know the, the difference is like so I'm an engineer by trade, right? And when I came up, the the people that I came up under as far as engineering. Um, it was under a system of you record the people, okay, and you tell them. Um, you know, if they ask you, hey, what you think about that? You just tell them, if that's how you like it, then it's cool. You know what I'm saying? But that was just to get the money. Mm -hmm. That that had that had nothing to do with the betterment of the song or that, that person's um, overall career. You okay. see what I'm saying? So when I stepped out on my own, I realized that people wanted me to tell them what I thought. Cool. So when I start, started giving my feedback, nah, you shouldn't do that. You a little offbeat on here. You should change that line. That's when I became the producer. Not as far as making beats, but as far as the records. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then later on in life, that's when I started actually putting records together myself. Getting producers from beat, getting uh, beats from producers, and then getting in the studio with different artists and hand picking them and saying, "I want you on this record. I want you on this record, or I'm taking you off of this record." You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not one of them people. I'm not going to leave you on my song just because you got on the song. Mm -hmm. if, if you don't fit the song, you getting off. If you if you whack, you getting off. If if the the chem, if anything was off, I'm going to take you off. You but know that's, what I'm that's saying? a good thing because you you definitely you got people in there that's supposed to be giving their heart to what they're doing, and right. you have to have an ear to do that. Too. Right, and, and I, you have to be a delegator, and you have to be one that know how to deal with people. I well. micromanage. That's my, you see what I'm that, saying? That's my blessing and my problem. Yeah, you <laughs> just, uh -huh. it's just, I mean, but don't you do the same thing in some ways? Like you help them to. Like I heard Kanye say that. Well, I heard Jamie Foxx say that Kanye told him to say it a certain way and don't say it like that. That's kind of what you do when right. you when you making the beats and all that, right? Yeah. Right, right. You right. gonna you gonna tell a person where they where where they lacking at? Right. But see, my problem is. <laughs> What's your my problem? problem? Is I, I, Steve will know. Like I'm a perfectionist, so if I feel any insecurities, I'm gonna come to the studio with it. I'm gonna show up with the song already ready and say, "This how it should sound. Change what you want, but." Here's the, yeah. Here's the sauce right here. You, you know, give it to them all the at way. At least you give it them that option so they can hear it. Cause not everybody is, I would say visual, but you know, a lot of people change it. And if it don't work, it's like it ain't on me. But majority, I don't miss much. You know, yeah. I want to ask y'all a question. Have you ever missed out on an artist that came through you and know you're gonna say yeah? Cause y'all deal with a lot of people where you where you had an opportunity to work with them and you didn't and they blew up after that. Uh, that's probably more of a question for you. <laughs> Uh, who uh blew up and I ain't really get to really really get to go go for real on them. Uh, I'm 
I'm trying to think. It's it's been a lot. Been a lot. I was about to say that many. It's been a lot. <laughs> yeah, because you dealing with a lot of people. I think I ain't gonna say. I'll say this because I can't really speak on that because I don't. I can't remember none because I don't like. I, I I like to say if we ain't work, it was because of a God, reason. Yeah. But I will say I got a lot of hits with people that I wish I had more hits with. Like mm. that's I, dope. I might have did a first song and it's like, man, I why I ain't get ten on that album? Like I, mm. I, you know, I'm the reason we, yeah. I, I, I made the first beat. Like we, mm-hmm. we was supposed to be a team. It was supposed to be some team effort. I ain't want to be your friend, man. I just want to get some money. You know what <laughs> what <I'm saying? laughs> it's awesome, you man. You need awesome. And it's a a lot of them. And yeah, them, right. And, and I'm not talking about like. B's and C's. I'm talking about A pluses. A, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like they. You know, they up there with them, and it's like, I just never understand, like, because I ain't one of them people. Yeah. Like, if, if 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 me and Steve-O, I, reason why me and Steve-O got to the point to where it was like, yo, Steve-O, I need you to help me on some of this right here, was because Steve-O had brought me so much money from, like, a no, no, like, we ain't got no reason, even obligated, you just plugging me in here, you ain't got to do it, but you doing it. He's, so he's, he's still behind that black card. Yeah, he was. Black he, card, that he, part right there. He did his thing without like, without he's even a good heart. at the point. Dope, I ain't even man. tell him I'm giving no money. Like he right. just like, man, I just hooked this up. I just hooked this up. And at some point, it's like, man, I got people in my corner that don't work hard mm. for me. So you ain't even in my corner. You work hard, man. Come over here. Let's get some more money. Yeah. That's the way. It Those goes. are the people you have to hold on to. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And that's how I see music. Like if if somebody did something for me. I feel like shit. It's only right that we continue to chase that shit together. Yeah. But it's a lot of people who ain't built like that, mm-hmm. and I never understood that. I do the same thing. I, I, I you know how we do it. Mm-hmm. You know, you you meet people and and you see opportunity where 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 they can be useful, and they don't know that individual or that situation, and you bring it together. That's what real leaders do, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I I ban up on somebody in a minute just to show them I can make this happen because I want to because they got a talent. And they can't, they may can't see what I can see in certain things. For sure. And that, that's how it break off when a leader dealing with it, you know. Right, but it's right. hurtful when you don't, when you can't find people or you have people who are not the same way to you, the way how you are to them. Yeah. But I look on things where as I got older, I realized that sometimes you have to say to them because sometimes they're not realizing because they weren't raised the same way that you are. They don't have certain morals or certain training the way you do. So sometimes, not every case. you right. But sometimes you just have to. Bring it to their awareness, and then you know, watch and see if they they do what they're supposed to do. I think they got a lot to do with discipline, <laughs> but but that's a long story, man. Me, hey, me, and right my, me and my partners got some shit. We say <laughs> we don't hang, we don't really be hanging with a lot of people that ain't get disciplined as when that's they was right. kids. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. my me and my partner, we all got whoopings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we, we operate a certain way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me ask y'all this: top three artists of all time. I got to get it from both of y'all. The segment Ooh. I do, I've been doing it every okay, every Mr. Lee done it. Nah, make him, his, li- his list don't count, but you can get him first. <laughs> no, no, Ooh. top three, number one. Nah, I, I ain't. Ooh. You got to do it. Right, we can bounce off each other. Everybody, that make it everybody, hey, everybody been on this if show. You Anybody six, you can so think of, three man. Three it, it just three people. It may change. KLC say his might change when he go out the door, right? My, my, my. He had it wrote down my, when he my got here. Definitely, number one. Definitely changes. Number one. Yeah. Oh man, I'm not. Scarface, really this. you, you, no, you, stop giving him. <laughs> no, 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 no. He ain't when I do that. As far as lyricists, you know, I record all Scarface stuff, that. so Scarface is definitely, definitely up there. Um, number one, but you're number one. It doesn't have to be somebody you listen to all the time or whatever. It's Work any with genre, all the time. so it doesn't have to be rap. It can be male, female. It's a wide range. Could be old any school. Any genre? Any on, genre. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, this is the hardest know question. Gonna Everybody do this. I know who in your top three now. Who that? Who you are? No, See. don't tell on. Don't, don't tell uh, uh, She wanted yeah. to be your top See, three. See, you sound like you already know, so you should just go ahead and spit it out. Uh, okay. okay. Pimp C is the up. Oh, that's what Come on, baby. I don't <laughs> number two, man, bounce, man. No, Come no, on, man. number two, <laughs> number two, man. It's all I love it you, just, man. Yeah, it could change, man. Number two, uh, number one, all that mattered to me, so I ain't tripping. <laughs> but number two, for sure. Um, I really, I, I, I know who three is. Who is three? Come on, go tell on me, not tell me who three. It, it better 
be champagne, man. <laughs> wow, <laughs> champagne. Yeah, Drake. Okay. Drake. Drake definitely. Um, yeah, because he a part of the camp, huh? Yeah, Come on, man. Yeah, that's, that's, right. that's too easy to get. Number to. two. That's it. Just give me one a wild more. card. Give oh, me somebody wild, wild card. Wild card. So Drake number two. No, Drake three. We no, gonna give him three because okay. out of respect for whoever the wild card. Is. Okay. A okay. wild card. If yes. I was just the number two. Number two. I don't know. I'm gonna say. I love this. It can part. be somebody from back in the days that your mama used to listen to, or something that you know. Ooh, so you you it throwing, can go so you anywhere. Throwing me <laughs> you throwing me off. I said off. any genre. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Okay. Ooh, that's nice okay. right there. Okay. Okay. If we go in there, if we go in there, if we go in there, any genre, any fire, time. and Drake. You yeah, know, dead or alive. Down. Dead or alive. Yes, sir. Anybody. That was nice. If we, if we gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, like could, I could do that. Cause I, I ain't heard the earth when it fire on there. I listen to, you know, I listen to LTD. I listen to Me a lot too. of, you know what I'm saying? I, I, that's my era. As yeah, far yeah. As yeah, yeah. Where I think yeah, I should have been born. You know what I'm saying? All right, give me give me yours, man. Give it up. I'm for the cheat. Cheat. I got the most out of my father. This is the first cheater. <laughs> yeah, this is the man, first I got cheater. Got these ain't chose come in cheating on us. I want to be safe. I mean, I got my first two now. Okay, first two. Come on. Well, by default, Drake number three. Right. Dang, oh, Drake's see. still number three. Okay. I, already know, I already know who his number one is. Who's number one? I know who's number one. Don't speak on it. Don't speak on it. I know who his number one is. Nah, leave it alone. I got to speak on that one. I know who his number one is. So, Drake number three. Okay. All right. Number two, I'm going to go off I'm gonna go off who I jam heavy in college. Okay. okay. So, and my number two moves around. So, I can give you really five for number two. But I'm going to say Big Crit. I know okay. he's at, I like and Big I know it's number one. I like and Big number Crit. one, greatest of all time. Ja Rule. Ja Rule, man. Ja Rule. Oh, wow. Only for the rule, baby. Come, Come on, man. man. <laughs> I, I'm going to rock with you. I'm going to rock with you because I listen at that nigga, man. I love the way that nigga came in. No Tupac, none of that. No, nah, we got, love them. We love no, them. My, my number two move around. And, but, and, and I like Tupac, but I'm going to say this. Tupac used to let anybody after he get through rapping, he just put anybody on the song. <laughs> whoever, whoever was in the studio, they just, hey, 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 you, you, yeah, you get on. He didn't care, man. That did, you right about that. I never thought about that, man. I never thought Say, about man, that. we love y'all, man. Hold on, I want to know how did you get your name? I, yeah, that's uh, a good one. The Steve O or the Black Heart? Both. Um, Steve O, my barber, Reg, gave it to me. My 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 first name is Stephen. For some reason, he couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> And he said, I'm just going to call you Steve-O. So every time I walked into the barbershop, it was, what up, Steve-O? And that's that's how that, that came. Black card came out. You ain't got to tell me. Nah, so black card. <laughs> before black card, I was north side Steve-O. Okay. Because I'm on the north side. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then I was working with um, an artist on the, uh, he was from the southwest side of okay. Houston. You know what I'm saying? But we used to travel a lot. We used to go to New York, Atlanta, everything. We would drop music and I would be able to call people and go pull up on them, have them pull up, no matter if, if it was DJs, producers, or whatever. And he just started saying, man, you got a black card. You got mm -hmm. a black card. Mm -hmm. And then, so, one day they were like, man, you got to change north side. You got to change north side <laughs> to something else. You know what I'm saying? You bigger than north side. <laughs> and I'm like, man, y'all always All about say I got card. the black card. So, it black went to the black Steve card, Steve-O. So, that, Dope, that's how man. that happened. I like it. That, that's yeah, a name man. that you can't forget. Nah, you can't forget that, man. Say, man. I definitely, I'm going to be watching y'all like I already, you know, I followed you that day. Mm. A.I. and G told me, I said, get him on my show. I got to right. have him. And then you, man, I got a diamond, man. Just drop right on in on me, man. That's <laughs> yeah. what I'm, that's why, you know, I missed one last week. I was upset about, but look how God worked. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I be tripping, man, but I know God got our back on this whole thing, man. For sure, we be for wanting sure. to meet good people, man, and just talk about the history of the music, man. That's what we trying we to do. we use our platform to help people. Yeah. That's why we always yeah. dig into, All the young like, kids trying to do music. Backstory and stuff like that mm -hmm. because people are watching people are, that's where everybody is right now YouTube people not watching TV anymore so yeah, if right. we can feed them some sort of positivity well, y'all doing a great job and we, sure. we appreciate the invite man we gonna you know do it mean? again man yeah. you know what I'm sure. saying I'm, I'm coming to Houston I'm setting up I, I'm going to Atlanta and set up in a couple of weeks mm -hmm. down in ATL go to New York man you gotta get John I know I'll be everywhere I get the greatest you, I can touch him Get the great. You're just, yeah. We I will. can touch you. We right. Will. We know people, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say, man, thank you guys, man. We love y'all, man. man. Love y'all too. Yeah, Appreciate Steve it. O chose, man. DJ chose, man. Thank you guys for coming Boss on the show. Talk. Say, man, it's been another great 101. Yes, Boss sir, talk. man. Let's get it. Exclusive, bro. And we out.